Hi you guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Okay, so I have a lot of new products to test out again, you guys. Um, I went on a little shopping spree. I keep seeing things on TikTok and on Instagram that I cannot control myself with. So yeah, we have a lot to jump into today. So I'm super excited. And if you would like to see how I came up with this look, please continue watching. If you are new today, the biggest warm welcome to you. And I hope that you stick around and subscribe to my channel. All right, you guys, let's go test out some more products. Okay, you guys, this is round two of my haul. I got a replacement of my favorite setting spray, the number seven. I was running low. Um, I got the L'Oreal bronzer I've been wanting to try. Um, I got the 4-in-1 Perfector Maybelline. I'm super excited to try that. And all these new products I saw on Instagram from Moria. I believe that's the name of it. But I'm super, super excited, you guys. I went on a shopping rampage. You guys, I got to stay off that Instagram because I see so many cool products. A lot of them are indie brands. And yeah, I just can't resist myself. So I got to stay off TikTok. I have to stay off all these platforms. At Ulta, I heard about this brow tint and it's their brand. And I wanted to give it a try. It's in the shade deep. So it's like a deep brown. So I just want to go in right away with this and start. Okay, so it's going on. Um, and here's the problem with me when I use these gels. It gets all over um, everywhere. I can always go back and clean up, but um, I saw somebody, it was, I think, Risa. Risa does makeup here on YouTube. She used this and she made it look so easy, but... Um, I'm just making a huge mess here. Look at the mess you, you guys I made. So I guess I could just go in and if this cleans up really easy, um, it did certainly tint my brows and hopefully it does stay. So I'm just taking a Q-tip and I am just gonna clean up around here. So yeah, it is kind of messy. Yeah, I was hoping that I could find a product that I really didn't have to pencil in. Um, and this did work quite well, I will say, but I just feel like I still need to fill in um, some sparse areas with um, a pencil. But let's just go in with the other eyebrow. Maybe I had too much product on it. I really have some sparse uh, eyebrows on that side. So I don't think anything but a pencil would fill this in. This is the mess I make. <laughs> And thank goodness I didn't do my complexion products first. I'm actually quite liking this. Um, it could make it a little easier if I learned how to use this a little better. Yeah, I've been loving this Morphe eyebrow pencil and I got it and I believe in the shade Cold Brew. Um, it does have a spoolie on one side and the applicator looks like that. So it's nice and thin. I'm just gonna go in and fill in just lightly where I have a few more sparse spots. But, uh, the shade did match my eyebrows really well, um, both uh, this Morphe and that gel. And as I feel it is drying down, it's becoming a little firm, which I do like. Okay, so this is what the eyebrows lo look like. Um, I actually really like that gel. Um, it is messy in the beginning, and it could be because it's brand new, um, and I had quite a lot of product on that. I heard that you even had to use um, fill-in with a pencil. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'll let you know in the description box how it held throughout the day. We're off to a good start. Product number one, I like. And I'm going to do something just very simple with my eyes today. And I'm going to go in with my uh, P. Louise. Guys, I have a few questions I truly would love your help on. Um, if you could write in the comment section below. Um, yeah, there's so many questions. <laughs> I should have done something on the community tab. I know a lot of you are just frequent watchers and you always help me out. So I'm going to need your help again. And honestly, anyone, please help me out here. Okay, question number one. Do you guys mind when I wear colored contacts or do you prefer it just to have my natural eye color, which is brown? That's question number one. All right, so I'm going to be using these ColourPop um, quads. I, I don't think I've used them much on my channel, maybe one or two times. And this is the palette Cream Soda, and I'm going to go into the shade here, Soda Shop. 
and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush, tap it off because there is a lot of kickback. Um, yeah, so I would really appreciate your guys' advice on that. Um, question number two, do you guys prefer me filming here in my beauty room or um, does the lighting and everything look better when I film downstairs? Uh, so that is super important for me. Um, I'm not sure about the lighting in here. I, um, it looks a little bright, but I can always adjust that. Super interested to hear what you guys think on that. Okay, so that's a very beautiful um, shade. So yeah, again, I'm just uh, putting it basically in my crease and wiped off my brush a little bit and now I'm just going to go over just the top of it just to smooth off the edges. So did you guys have a good weekend? Um, again, this will go out Monday. I think I have finally become pretty consistent on um, posting on Monday. That seems to be a day that works out for me because I get to film on the weekends and um, yeah, I can get it edited pretty quickly to go out on Monday. So yeah, did what you guys do? Um, I at this point I don't have much planned. I have my great nephew's um, birthday party on Sunday, so that'd be fun. You know, it's always nice to see family. And but I don't know what to get these kids nowadays. My baby is 28 years old, so I have no idea what these kids play with. And they say, oh, he wants uh, Legos. Well, how many Legos are out there? I have no idea what these kids are into. He might be just getting a gift card. All right, now I'm going to go into this other pan, and this is uh, the sparkler pan. And I'm going to use the shade here, Cool Cola. And tap that off. And just put that in the outer corner. And I know the weather um, around everywhere is just really bizarre right now. I know Florida is having a tough spot right now with uh, the hurricane. I heard it's going all the way up to New York. Ah, uh, yeah, the weather out there is crazy. We've had some really bad storms here. Um, and today's actually, uh, it cleared up a little bit, but I'm telling you, it comes so quickly out of nowhere. So hopefully you guys are all staying safe and uh, the weather is okay in your area. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the first palette uh, in cream soda and I'm gonna take this shimmer right here and put it on like in the middle. And just kind of do that. And there is some fallout. I can already see it happening. These are a little loose shimmers. And then I went in with this lighter shade here and went in just with my inner corner and meshed it into that first shimmer I laid down. So it's just very subtle. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna go in with, I'm finally gonna try this out. This is by Herd Candy and it's in the shade Fudging Around. I've seen this on TikTok and it just looked like a beautiful shade, number one. It looked like a very nice felt tip liner that I think I would really enjoy. Here is the tip here, very pointy. Uh, so let's see what the shade looks like. Ooh, that is a very nice thin applicator. And it is a very nice, deep, rich brown that I was looking for. So usually I need to um, pull my eye back. And I feel with this tip, I do not. Um, even at, at the wing here. Uh, it just went on very easy, as you guys can see. So this is very nice. And again, it's by Hard Candy. And they sell this at Walmart. Yeah, guys, I really hope that this stays on throughout the day because this is exactly what I was looking for. You know how I'm on the hunt for the dupe for the Lancome uh, Blur Stick. And I got uh, the Maybelline one last time, but it was in a shade. And so it was very hard for me to tell. Uh, so I actually found one in the translucent. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm going to do the Lancome on this side. So let's see here. And hopefully we can see. I'm going to actually get my mirror. Hopefully we'll be able to catch the difference here. So I'm going to go in with the Lancome. And then put it on this side. Try to go only halfway up my nose. OK, 
Okay, and let's go in with the Maybelline. Honestly, they feel very similar. Interesting. Covering my pore wise, um, unless my pores are gener you know, just generally um, deeper on this side, this side looks like it covered more. Interesting. Actually, let's go in with the lamb comb first because we know how beautifully that covers up wrinkles. And there's that. Okay, did we, hopefully I caught that on camera. And let's try this side. So, I'm going to try to go up the middle, down. I do think the Lancome does blur the wrinkles a little bit better. Um, that one just seemed to go, you know, just very smooth over that um, line, but they both do cover them. I just think the Lancome covers them a little better, but for $30 cheaper, I really hope that this works out. I'm actually going to go here. Now here, it did blur the wrinkles pretty good. If you guys caught that. Let's do the Lancome. Yep, and it did about the same. Okay. Well, another test is going to be how they last throughout the day. Okay, the next product I'm super excited about, I got the Maybelline. It's the Age Perfector 4 and 1. This is supposed to be a primer a concealer, a highlighter, and a BB cream. And I got mine in the shade 00 Light because this is all my um, Ulta had at the time. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, and let's just see, I wouldn't know because again, I do not own that product. So I'm just twisting, twisting, twisting. So a lot of people use this um, as just like their primer to give that uh, luminous gl glow. Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> So, and it's supposed to be a self-adjusting shade, and I'm sure glad I did get the light because uh, the next shade was really dark. So, oh my goodness, a little bit goes a very long way. Um, so I'm not using any primer except for that blur stick. And let's see what this does. And I'm just gonna go in with a sponge. So yeah, it definitely has a beautiful glow, as you guys can see. It's a very light coverage. This would be beautiful on a day you just didn't want to wear any foundation. I mean, that's really pretty. It doesn't cover much, so I'm definitely going to be using this as a primer today, uh, just to see how that works out. This is super, super pretty. Um, it didn't sit on my skin. Um, looks very natural. If you're looking for a lot of coverage, um, it, that's not going to give it to you. And there's no tackiness, no nothing. There is, you know, that nice slip still. So, um, I'm interested how foundation is going to go over this. The foundation I'm going to use with this is, uh, the Maybelline Superstay. Um, and I got mine in nude beige. I know how this foundation performs. Um, I really like this foundation a lot, um, so I'm going to see how this wears throughout the day with this. Gosh, that is really pretty though. Um, I really like that. It adds such a beautiful glow to your skin. Yeah, that I definitely will be wearing that on no makeup makeup days. Um, that is whew, beautiful. Spray my sponge like always. And I'm not wanting to wear a lot of foundation today. So I'm just going to put it on a very light layer. Let's see how this foundation looks over that product. Okay, this looks really nice. Those two products play very well together, and I still get my um, that luminous glow. I hardly used any foundation uh, just very little you do get a little bit of coverage with this so you don't need a lot of foundation um, yeah I'd be interested to use this with like a full coverage foundation to see if you still get that luminous glow uh, shining through Ooh, that is beautiful I really like this let's see what it looks like on my hand um, and forgive me I am testing out a 
um, self-tanner, you guys. I am not a self-tanner person, so I'm a little nervous about what's gonna happen. Let's put a little bit on the back of my hand. And as you can see, how there is that beautiful shimmer in there. Um, yeah, that is very pretty. I do wanna update you guys on a couple of products that I did on my first uh, little haul a couple of videos back on, um, so this is basically part two of <laughs> all the new products, um, and it's the NARS. And um, I absolutely love this, and this is the color corrector. And I got this in the shade Light. This, I'm not too crazy about, and this was the NARS uh, Creamy Radiant. What I am finding is my eyes looked really dry, and I don't get that, so I'm still playing around with it, but I love this one. <sighs> not too sure about this. What a bummer, because it's not cheap, you guys. Um, so, yeah, I'm still going to play with it, but as of right now, I'm going to give you that update. I'm not a big fan. So what I've been finding with this though, is I literally go in with that much on each eye and that might even be a little bit too much. Then what I'm doing with this product is just tapping it in ever so lightly on with my finger. I'm not even using a sponge at this point. And it, you will see that that is a should be enough i might have to add just a little bit more but i'd rather go in with you know a little product and build up and as you can see a difference already so I, i'm just going to add a little bit more right there and i mean just minute amount there because uh it is very full coverage and honestly you guys i can literally get away with just that um, but what I do do is just go up with my foundation just a little bit. I That's what I love about it. I do not need a lot of product under my eyes using just this corrector. On Instagram, I saw somebody use these cool little um, poof poofs. You know how I love my poof poofs. And I found it on Amazon. So they're going to be perfect for putting on powder under my eyes. I'm going to use my number seven. As usual, you guys, I don't think I'll ever change on this. And I'm just gonna go under and see how it just fits so perfectly for your eyes. And it'd probably be very nice around the nose, which it is. And you guys with these, um, just so you know, it, a little tip, I keep these one of these in my purse at all times. All you have to do is blot like the oily spots and it takes it right away. And even if you have a little powder on there, it would be even better. Well, I love this little poof poof. It feels so fancy. I am going to still spray this though. And I'm going to use this side because I'm going to reuse this over and over a few times. So I'm just going to spray it ever so slightly and just go over that powder under my eyes. Again, you guys, that makes such a difference. Okay, now I'm just going to set my whole face with a very light layer with my kimchi setting powder. One of my all time favorite powders. I put uh, just a little extra here to bake. Um, I'm not a fan of baking, but here I do. I find that it is helping with um, my glasses because my glasses sit there and usually it just takes all my makeup away. So that really helps. And just putting the rest of the powder on my nose because that is super oily. <laughs> so again, I found the Indie brand on Instagram. They've been around since I think like 2018, um, but this is the first time I've really seen them. So, and it's called Moria. Got their highlight and contour palette. And this is what it looks like inside. Doesn't that look like a familiar palette that we all had back in the day? What was it? I think it was Kat Von D's um, palette. So that's what just reminded me of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use this shade here as my contour. Okay, so let's go in and see what this does. If you had a uh, really deep skin, this will probably not work for you. And I can't remember, I'd have to check into it and uh, let you guys know in the description box if they had deeper shade palettes or if this is just the only palette they have. Yeah, you know, I guess, yeah, it does show and it is a very nice um, contour shade on my skin and I'm pretty light complected. So I'm actually gonna go mix these two together now and use that as my bronzer. Let's see if 
I get a color payoff with this. So they are very build buildable shades. Ooh, no, I actually really like that. It's very natural. Um, it's not super orange. Yeah, it's just a very nice natural shade. Right now I'm just adding a little bit of color uh, all throughout my face. What I do like about it, it's very smoothing. I will say that, kind of like it almost fills in my pores. Now this is really nice, you guys. Um, yeah, super, super smoothing. Because I know it's not the kimchi powder, because I use that all the time. Um, so this has something and it is smoothing this area, uh, which is usually very textured. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade with another poof poof, since I have so many. And I don't know how much product to use. So I am gonna use quite a bit, about that much. I wanna see if I can highlight this area. Yep, I think I went too light, you guys, or too much product, um, as you can see. So I'm going to have to try to fix that. Um, I'm just so used to like a more loose powder where I would need more. So I might even have to go in with this shade here just to deepen that up just a touch. Yeah, I just went in with way too much product um, and too light of a shade. So, hmm, okay, the thing is, it does not wipe away easily. So, hopefully when I go in with my setting spray, it will cover that up a little bit. Yeah, a while back I bought this bronzer by L'Oreal, and I've been dying to try it, and it's N01. But this does have a shimmer, as you can see. So let's see how this swatches. Okay, so this is really powdery, and it looks like that. Let's try here instead. Yeah, that is a much deeper shade than um, this here. I might have to try this more on a different day when I don't, I really don't want to disturb this too much because it's so smoothing and pretty. I'll just put like a little light layer. I'll definitely use this again in another video just to see if we can get a better idea about that. And through the same company, you guys, wait till you see these blushes. Maybe most of you have seen it, but it was a first for me and they are so beautiful. Um, and I got two shades. This one is Sweet Peach and this one is Bella Pink. I hate to use them out of the pan, they're so beautiful. But this is the Bella Pink. You guys, isn't the packaging just beautiful? Look at the detail on that. Um, and let me swatch this for you. I'm gonna swirl all those colors together. And oh my gosh, is that just not gorgeous. This is in the Sweet Peach, so they're all ombre. Um, again, with beautiful detail in that. And let's swatch this one. I'll put that right there. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are just so beautiful. Um, I think I want to try this one, you guys. I don't know why. I just want to really try it. I'll do one side with them all mixed together. And I'm just going to be very light handed because that's a pretty pink shade. I'm going to tap off even a little bit. And let's go in and see what this looks like. Oh my goodness. Do you see how beautiful this is? Ooh, and it is super pigmented, you guys. Whoa, that is so pretty. Let's see if it's as smoothing as that contour kit. And it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I'm going to have to go back on their website and purchase every single shade they have. <laughs> so now what I want to do on this side is see if I can make like an ombre effect like it is in the pan. So I'm just going to tap down here. And there is a little kickback, you guys, um, just so you know. And I'm just going to go high on my cheek here. Woo! Holy Moses, that is beautiful. I'm gonna use a different brush and go into the lighter shade up here. Tap that off. And just go right here and create like a little ombre effect. Oh, 
Woo-wee. Now it didn't really create that ombre effect that I thought I could create with that. These are gorgeous and very pigmented. So now I'm just going to go in with my sponge that has a little bit of foundation left over on it just to calm this down a touch. Not too much because I think it's gorgeous. Again, these are the shades that I got. I'm going to be using these a lot. I know it. They are just so pretty. Then while I was on their website, I decided to get a couple lip products. And this is a liquid lip and this is just a regular lipstick. Now the liquid lip, they're saying it's waterproof and long lasting. And I got that in the shade Nude, and then I got the lipstick in Timeless. And this is the lipstick Timeless here. So let's swatch that. Ooh, that's very, very pretty. A nice, actually just a nude shade. Let's just talk about the packaging here for a moment. Again, it's just beautiful. It's a little bird on one side and a rose on the other. We just got to appreciate the details. And this is in the shade Nude. And that's what that looks like there. Ooh, that's a hard call. I think I'm going to go in with the Liquid Lip and try this. The applicator is super nice. It doesn't come out with a lot of product on it. Uh, yeah, it's just really easy to apply. And right now, it's still very creamy. It's not drying down really, it's not drying down super fast. And so I just wiped that off and I just want to see what this looks like, uh, the timeless. So it's very similar. Okay, so they're both very nude, but very pretty shades and uh, just different, just different products. One is a lipstick and the other one um, is a liquid lip. So. One's creamy, one won't be. So I am going to go back to Liquid Lip because I'm super curious how long this will last. Okay, that's it with all the new products. So I'll just go off and finish the look and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. For mascara, I used uh, Elf's new Big Mood. I actually really like this mascara, you guys. I just still trying to get used to the big wand on it, but um, as you can see, it really does a nice job on the lashes. If you guys want to check out the video where I reviewed this product and a bunch of other new uh, products that I actually fell in love with. I'll link that here and in the description box so you can just go click on it and take a look at, the, at that video. I actually really like this brow gel. I think my brows look super nice and natural. Um, I It was a little messy but it was super easy to clean up and I didn't have to spend a lot of time with my pencil. Uh, so I do like this a lot and it has dried down but I will keep you informed on how long this does last throughout the day. Okay, the Maybelline against the Lancome, I'm super excited about. Uh, I didn't see a major uh, difference. Actually, I thought the Maybelline uh, covered my pores a little bit more, and I think the Lancome covered the wrinkles a little more, so it's a, it's a toss-up, but for $30 cheaper, I'm super excited about this, but again, the test will be how it lasts throughout the day. I actually take a picture at the end of the day um, when all my makeup has settled and wore off a little bit and, and to compare the two. All right, and the next thing, I absolutely love this so far. Um, I love that luminosity it gave my face. I love that I can wear it alone um, or under my foundation. Honestly, I really think my skin looks really nice right now. The highlighter, and bronzing kit, I'm not too sure about. I love the bronzers on there and that contour shade. It's the lighter shades that um, kind of gave me a problem here. Speaking of which, I didn't even set my face to see if that could calm that down there. Um, so let's just see if that can right now. If I just kind of mesh that into my skin. Yeah, no, it really didn't. It's still pretty bright. So um, yeah, I keep you guys informed on that. But um, the bronzers, I did like. The blushes, oh my gosh, they are so pretty. I mean, look at the shades on there. Liquid lip, I want to show you guys something. See my lips? It's kind of sticking, so um, I'm not too excited about that. So I am actually going to add just a little bit of gloss uh, to my lips to try to help that situation. And hopefully, uh, you know, I can still tell how long it will last, but I don't think I can last much longer with my lips doing that. Now the thing is, I just put on that gloss and I just realized it didn't really come off on the wand here, because here it is on my hand and see how much 
I can take this off. Hmm. Yeah, um, it doesn't come off very easily. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Some water right here. Let's see what... Let's see how waterproof that is. And here is that. So... Uh, yeah, that doesn't come off too easy, you guys. You saw how sticky my lips got, but now they feel better with gloss on it. So hopefully it will stay even with the gloss on. Okay, you guys, so I think that is it with all my new products. Um, so I'm super excited. I pretty much loved everything uh, that I got again. I've been so lucky, you guys, uh, so far. So I'm really hoping that my makeup stays on really well with this because I really... I'm impressed with this product here. You guys, and again, if you can an answer my little three questions about my uh, contacts, if that, you know, if you would just prefer to see me with my uh, regular eye color, uh, the room situation, if you prefer me filming in here or uh, downstairs, where is the lighting better at, you know, which room is better where you get a better feel for the products. I don't even know if I got to that third question, but the third question is, is how often would you prefer me to post? Right now I'm posting one if I'm lucky to uh, a week, but if you would actually like to see at least two a week, um, please let me know. I would love to make that happen. Um, or e even if you wanted to see more, you know, I just need to know how often to post. I don't want to over post drive people crazy and I don't want people to wait too long either so let me know your guys' thoughts on all that I appreciate all you guys' advice um, honestly I do your comments they make my day I love and adore so many of you you guys are amazing and awesome all right you guys I truly hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did if you could please give it a thumbs up it really really does help my channel more than you guys will ever know I really truly appreciate you guys and until next time